In this video, I'll teach you how to make an amigurumi bowl like this one at any size that you want so they can be perfectly round like this. And just so you know, in order to create all these balls here, I used the same yarn, which is called Mati Yarns. This is a brand from Portugal. The one that we are going to use now, this mustard color, is called Have Fun. They have amazing colors, a huge variety of colors. I strongly recommend you check their website. I'll leave the link here in the description. You can see that they have the description of the yarn, both in Portuguese and in English. It is 100% cotton yarn. They recommend a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook size, but I'm going to work with this 2.2. And I guess a 2.5 would still be a good size. They have the website here, made in Portugal, as you can see. Oops. So let's get it started. So first of all, we have to understand the logics behind the amigurumi bowl. <laughs> all these samples here that I created, I started with six single crochets inside the magic ring, okay? So I did 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. These are all multiple of six, okay? In this big one here, you can see that this is the biggest bowl that I created. I have six 12 18 you can see that i have an increase one single crochet increase one increase two increase three can you see this is an increase one two three increase in this one we have increase one two three four let me mark like this so we have one two three four five six rounds this is the amount of rounds that we created while we were still making the ball bigger okay so 6 12 18 24 um, 30 36 okay we were still in making increases to make the ball bigger and this was the last round that I made increases. Increase, one, two, three, four. Increase, one, two, three, four. Increase, okay? We had, as we counted before, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, if you have six rounds that you were still increasing the ball, now you have to continue for six, you have to continue for six rounds. So, I just repeated the last amount of stitches in the last round. So, here we had 36, 4 single crochets, 1 increase. 6 times we have 36 single crochets. And we repeat the sequence for 6 rounds. 6 until we increased. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now, you decrease more 6 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 here in the inverted magic ring. The same thing applies for the other balls. This, this one, as I showed you, I made um, 4 single crochets and 1 increase. This was the biggest round. This one, I got to um, 3 single crochets and 1 increase, which was my last round of increases. Let me take a different stitch marker. We have one, two, three, four, five. If this one I got to six, this one is smaller. I get to oops. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I have an increase. One, two, three. Increase. One, two, three increase so the logic again is the same if i have one two three four five rounds and this is the last round that i increased i will repeat for five rounds the last um, amount of stitches in this last round here so i ended up here with 30 single crochets so now i have to do 
one, two, three, four, five continuous rounds. And after this round, what do we have to do? Decrease for five rounds again. One, two, three, four, and five. I hope you're following this explanation. And these ones, the smaller ones, this I said that I made um, four, three, we will do together with two. <laughs> this was one, like, this one is so tiny. Let's see if it's possible to show you. Six single crochets, 12. And here we have one increase, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet. If I mark here, we can see that we had six, 12, 18. So I had 18 single crochets here, three rounds. What do we have to do? Repeat for three rounds. One, two, three, and then you decrease. One, two, three. You see that the amount of rounds are even. You increase for a certain amount, the same amount you go up, and the same amount of rounds you decrease to close it. And this is a small one. I just made six, 12, 12, 12, six, and inverted magic ring. So as I promised, let's crochet together. We start with our magic ring. And I will make six single crochets inside the magic ring. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. This is my round number one. Round number two, I'll make six increases to end up with 12 single crochets. Second increase, third, fourth, fifth, and the last one, the last increase. And we end up with 12 single crochets. In the next round, we will make one single crochet and one increase. One. Increase, and you repeat the sequence for six times, okay? one single crochet one increase for six times and I have 18 single crochets here so now in the next round we will make two single crochets and one increase for six times okay one two increase Okay. 
Okay, so I finished. I opened up the magic ring a little bit. Always, I like I like to pull the thread when it happens. I always do that just to close it a bit more. So now I have plenty for single crochets. I made two single crochets, one increase, six times. So now we have one, two, three, four rounds. Okay, we have four rounds, and in the last round we have twenty-four single crochets. So what do we have to do now? If I have four rounds, I have to make continuous rounds. Okay, so I will repeat the sequence for four rounds again. Four rounds until I increased. I will repeat four rounds, okay? So I'll just keep crocheting here. This continuous rounds. And I will come back when I finish it to show you how it looks. So as you can see, I finished four rounds. Let's count it together. We have one, two, three, four rounds. You can see an increase here, which was the last round with increases. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So we have eight rounds, four that we were increasing and four continuous rounds. So what we have to do now is start decreasing and we will decrease for four rounds again. In this part, I will do with you. You know that I always place the stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. So, we have to do here one, two, because here we did two single crochets, increase, two, increase. So now two, decrease. One, two, three, three, and you just repeat the sequence until you reach the stitch marker at the other side, side which means you repeat for six, six times. One, two, decrease. round this was round nine on round number ten we have to do one single crochet and one decrease so the first one is done here one decrease and again you keep repeating the sequence six times until you reach the stitch marker at the other side I'll keep doing it and I will come back I have my last decrease here to finish this round great I'll put some stuffing inside this bowl so we can start seeing this shape In case you're new here in the channel, I have a whole video dedicated to how to stuff correctly an amigurumi. Of course, an amigurumi bowl like this is something very easy. You can simply put stuffing randomly. Oh, there it's here, here. But, I mean, there is no secret to stuff a simple bowl like this. But there are lots of secrets to stuff an amigurumi correctly when we're thinking about a doll or an animal to shape it correctly, 
it's very important. I'll leave the link for this video here in the description so you can check it later. Okay, so I stopped it and you can see that it's getting like a perfect round shape. In this last round we did one single crochet and one decrease. So now we just have to make six decreases for six rounds, okay? So I will make the first decrease here. And mark with the stitch marker so we don't get lost. And you just keep decreasing until you reach the stitch marker at the other side. This was the second, now the third decrease. So, let's count the rounds now to see if our mathematics worked here. We did one, two, three, four rounds, okay? We have increases here. One, two, three, four continuous rounds, okay? And we decrease for one, two, three. Bianca, there is still one round left to decrease because this is not even. We count the inverted magic ring here as the last round. So let's do it together. I will cut a piece of thread like this and with the help of the tapestry needle, we will do this last round, which is the inverted magic ring here in this case. There are lots of different ways to do the inverted magic ring. This is how I like to do it. I skip the first stitch here and I insert a loop in the front loop of oops, the front loops of the second one. I always use the front loops. Skip and front loop. Skip and front loop. This is my favorite way. Pull the thread. There is like this ugly peak here, we don't want it. So I insert the tapestry needle here at the mid in the middle of the bowl and you can leave at any point in the bowl. You just pull the thread and this part will enter the amigurumi. And you see that it's perfect. This is also how I usually fasten off. There is a tutorial here in the channel in case you have never done that. But I just take any loop to tie a knot. I would do it very fast here because as I said, there are other tutorials here in the channel that I teach it in a very detailed way. So we won't lose time because the focus of this video is to explain how to make this perfect bowl shape. I'll just take my scissors here to cut the remaining thread and that's it. You see that the bowl is perfectly round and using the same idea that the, the amigurumi has to be even, we create perfect shapes like these ones. Let me remove these stitch markers. So you can compare the sizes now. So this one, I had four single crochets and one increase. This one, three increase, two increase, one increase. And this one, I just made the increase. 
And that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now you're free to do your amigurumi balls at any size that you want using any type of yarn.